Okay, so I guess I'm just going to talk about Watchmen because I read it yesterday and today. Well, actually, I just got it yesterday, but I finished reading it already because I had a day off of work. But... So this is just the hardcover. Yeah, it's too much, a bit glossy, but okay. So I'd say what my thoughts were on it. Uh, this is just going to be off the cusp. But so I, th I thought it was good. I wouldn't say it was, it was perfect or anything, so basically it follows, it's like a murder mystery. Uh, one of the characters, I guess, well, that's like how, so uh, this guy, the comedian, he gets killed. So they try to, basically the character, the this character is like Rorschach, uh, I guess he's the main protagonist, kind of. Uh, he tries to figure out what happened, why he was killed, and basically it gets to down to the core of it it's a deconstruction of superheroes and basically the, the reality that the it's ridiculous that the idea of superheroes existing in this world so it tries to be more ground and realistic but i'd say it's still not all that realistic like the fact that superheroes like say Rorschach, he existed for decades without them finding his secret identity like they wouldn't have found it out earlier and of course there's dr manhattan but it i guess it's basically showing how a lot of times superheroes ideal ideology or the idealizing right wing ideas like Rorschach basically this moral absolutism doesn't really leave much. Sorry, I thought my cat was there. Doesn't leave much room for moral ambiguity or or compat. Well, I wouldn't say compassion, but it's weird because Rorschach kind of doesn't stick to his own more absolutism specifically for the comedian so he since he's already determined that the comedian is good he just ignores the bad things he's done that, that are revealed later because well he ha he was good so he, he, he can't see people in the gray gray lens what i will say though is uh, the artwork is really good there was also a sub story like it's supposed to be like it, it talks about EC comics and DC comics, but I didn't really understand what was going on there. I didn't pay much attention to it, but you can see the artwork is pretty nice. The colors and that are all good, so I would say the art is is a plus, and the storytelling is pretty good too. I just when I read it, I I wonder what the main moral like drive is supposed to get out because there was. At the end, it's essentially a conflict between, I would say, two separate right-wing ideologies. Not really separate, but there's one is like the Thanos idea, basically. Just kill millions of people, kill a ton of people to save life. And then there's, well, I say the Thanos the, in the MCU. And then there's the, uh, the other one where everything's good and back. You got to do, you got to stick to it no matter what. You can't betray your values but then there's the other one that yeah we do have to betray our values but like it's strange the way they went about doing it so yeah here it is oh yeah there you are so yeah like it's hard for i guess i should have composed my thoughts a bit more but yeah see the art's pretty nice it's near the end when basically half of new york gets killed of course, I, some of these stuff I didn't really take. Like, he was Kristall Nacht, like Nazi Germany. So it's like, there's a lot of references to right wing ideologies there. And Alan Moore, he is, he's pretty anti right wing himself. So it makes sense that a lot of that would show up in here. But what I don't understand is, well, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be that he's not glorifying either side, like for, for Rorschach or Ozm Osmodeus. The, the person who actually ends up killing the comedian who sets things in motion because he's he's a bit of a hallmark himself he idolizes alexander the great he idolizes like historical fi war figures and he also his idea of peace is to bring the two superpowers together but it doesn't really explain what happens with all the other countries that are around like what happens to every other country is it just hedging me between the, the United States and Soviet Union, like mutual domination of the rest of the world, or or what? Because it's like 
the idea of peace still e includes two kind of separate countries also the fact that all this advanced because dr man has superpowers so he was creating a ton of this advanced technology and even all that advanced technology there's still a lot of poverty and misery but is is that even going to change because there's still fundamentally it seems the same it's it's just like a temporary uneasiness which i guess that's kind of what he hints at he says it, it never ends because I think Dr. Manhattan kind of since that. It's just like a temporary piece, really. And what I think another thing is, I think they they kind of downplayed a bit just how terrifying the thought of a superhuman with that much power being in the control of a of one country, an institution like that, where he basically has f they basically have free reign to do whatever they want because he's pretty obedient because he just had lets kind of do to let them do what he tells them to do. And the fact that they're able to subjugate other countries like Vietnam, the Vietnam War. Because he he watches a, a woman get murdered and he doesn't care for it. But the idea that the United States is has a superpower that they use to basically just keep every other country at bay and force them to obey them, really. Because the f fact of the matter is that all the advanced technology, I said there's still a lot of poverty. So they're basically not really trying to strive for peace, they're trying to strive for power and domination. But, yeah. Um, what are, what, is there anything else I wanted to say about this? I, I, yeah, I said I think this correlation is good. The, like, the, this, this section itself is pretty good. I know there's other versions like trade paper back snap, but I got this on sale. So I thought it was, I said the art is good. Is it my favorite book? I wouldn't say so, but I'd say I'd say it's interesting. And that's another thing; it, ha it does have a lot of text at the end of each issue, except the last issue, which provides a lot more back tries to provide more backstory into the individual stories and that. But it does. I do like how some of the heroes are or the heroes are portrayed, though, like how, how there's like a corporate hero, Dollar Bill, who basically just exists to promote something, and a lot of them basically exist just for their own promotion and also i like how i, I okay pretty much puts the idea or not the idea before that in order to be doing something like that you have to like not be normal you gotta like if you're doing that day in day out and really thinking it's helping much when they said there's still a lot of poverty like what do they really help there's got to be something just about that but yeah, so there we go. Uh, I guess I'm just going to end it now because I don't really know what else to say. But I just want to say that I read Watchmen. It was good, but I said I was being over harshly critical on it. Just because, like, some... I, the reason why I was being more, more critical on it is because of how highly esteemed it is. And I, I wish I could have a better critique, but this is all off the cusp. And there we go, yeah. So that,